hello, hi, and I'm Nikki, and I'm delivering a Kiki tutorial. To recreate Kiki's iconic Jubilee hair, I'm using the Celine wig in dark brown from our sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs. Kiki, do you love me? Do you deliver me back to my childhood to where I'd wear a red bow in my hair and paired with one of my mom's oversized purple shirts so I could be you? Yes, girl, you do. And you also got some very cute, short, dark brown hair, some choppy Ghibli bangs, and a huge red bow. But we can't style a bow. That's an accessory. To get that Ghibli hair, we're going to put the wig on our head for the initial styling, which will start with those choppy bangs. I'm more or less just thinning the bangs of the wig out and making the ends more jagged as they're animated in the movie. Next, I'm trimming the length to be around my ear. Kiki's hair looks to be right around the length of her ears, but don't do what I did and cut this wig a little too short. Leave about an inch or two for additional styling later. Now the wig is on the baddest witch I know, Jonathan, my wig head. I'm brushing the wig out and shaping up the wig by making the overall length roughly the same and adding in some layers. Next, I go in with the flat iron to manipulate the wig hairs to better replicate Kiki's hair shape. Her hair is animated very bushy, bushily, is a poof, but also kind of straight. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what what this is, but the but flat ironing it did help better replicate the texture and the shape that she has in the movie. Give her a brush. Then give her a floof treatment, and by that I mean hairspray and tease the Kiki. We are after that Miyazaki volume. Then brush her again with a barrel brush and try to retain some of the floof you made. But then change your mind and floof it again, turn it upside down if you want, or if you don't want, it's up to you. Brush the weave or the weave gets the flat iron again. Trim your kiki so she becomes a Dora who explores a... bad pun. Put it on your head and marry the night because you high key have some gaga vibes going on. Adjust it and realize you are very quickly ruining this poor poor wig. Return the wig to the Jonathan, your last hope. Pin a fake headband in place where the bow will be later and the weave gets the flat iron again. This time, curl the ends of the wig underneath it and give it a final trim. This part is very important for I thought I had really messed this wig up until I curled it under. Then I got that prime Ghibli hair I was going for. Then you're done! Kiki was an easy wig, but a weirdly difficult one, because the wig I picked was thick, which I wanted, and the perfect color, but it was a bit too short. In hindsight, I wish I went with a longer wig to have more room to play with in styling, but this one still worked out great and gave me a fantastic in-flight emotional Ghibli hair. Now onto the makeup. Begin with a primer or moisturizer of your choice, foundation, concealer, and set it all with foundation powder. Kiki is very young and useful, so I'm heavily applying the powder under my eyes for as youthful of a look as possible. Onto the eyes. To get Kiki's wide-eyed, childish look, I'm starting with a light nude base eyeshadow that matches my skin tone and is a little lighter to brighten the area. With a slightly darker shade, I'm applying it to my crease to add dimension. Then I add an even darker tone to the top of my crease to create a false shadow to contour my eyes to mimic Kiki's eye shape. Be sure to blend with a clean brush. With a mid-tone shade, I shape my outer areas of my eye. Using a dark brown eyeshadow and a thin brush, I add that to my lash line, focusing at the top center area to continue to replicate that high, childish Ghibli eye shape. I also pull that dark color to my bottom lash line, but not too much. Smudge it out for as natural of a look as possible. Add mascara, but focus it to the outer parts of your lash line and to the top center area of your lash line. Don't pack it on, we want this to look as natural as possible. Kiki is a little girl after all. Either shade in your brows brown, or do what I did and make them more straight and a little faded. I wanted my brows more straight to make my face look more childish. This is what works best for me, so don't feel afraid to change your brow shape to get the most youthful look for your face. 
Add some lighter shadow under the arches of your brows. For contouring, I'm adding some around the bridge of my nose to make my eyes seem more far set. Kiki and most Ghibli girls seem to have pretty far set eyes. I also contour the tip of my nose to look more button-like, which will add to the illusion that my face is more childish. I also use this trick for Deku and Usagi. I smooth my contour out with a foundation powder. Then add in the signature Ghibli blush with, well, blush. I apply it in a way that's very rounded and focused on the highest part of my cheeks, like hers is animated in the film. Also put a little on your nose for maximum cuteness. Here I'm putting highlighter under my eyes to make them look as youthful as possible. And a little on the tip of my nose. For my lips, I use a lip liner to hide my cupid's bow to give a more cute look to my face. This trick may not work for everyone, but it really works for me. Set that makeup. You don't want it coming off mid-delivery. Add your freshly styled wig and tie in a cute red bow just like Kiki. Make final adjustments and you're ready for some deliveries. Thank you so, so much for watching these tutorials and thank you to Epic Cosplay Wigs for sponsoring. Also, thank you Rachel, aka Spotty, for all the showcase footage. I love making Kiki come to life. I was obsessed with Studio Ghibli as a kid and clearly never shook that love. Kiki's delivery service was my favorite movie of Miyazaki's growing up. I used to dress up as her as a kid. Anyways, any witches out there that use this tutorial for their own delivery girl look, please tag me on whatever social media you use. We stand cute Ghibli girls on this channel. Let me know what tutorial you'd like to see next in the description below and help this delivery girl fly into a full-time YouTube career by going to the Patreon and becoming part of the Gucci Gremlin gang or sharing this video, subscribing, liking, all love is good love. Anyways, thanks so much again and I'll see you next time.